blood, toil, tears, and sweat. That's what Winston Churchill told those who had just joined his new government that he had to offer. That was it. And at that time, the British Empire faced what appeared to be the imminent invasion by Germany's Third Reich. In his first speech as Prime Minister before the House of Commons on the 13th of May, 1940, he added this. You ask, what is our aim? I can answer in one word, victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terror. Victory however long and hard the road may be. But without victory, there is no survival. Now, while we're presently not facing an imminent invasion of our mainland, we are facing the perils of uncertain and tumultuous times. Yet we've faced them before and prevailed. And Churchill knew this. In fact, he had the strange knack, it is said, of being able to share the most dire and bad news while simultaneously building the confidence, the courage, and resolve of his audience. Now, what are your words inspiring? Can you share the harsh facts of what is happening in our world at large or our economy or even in our industry while inspiring your homeowner or your sales team to dig in harder and resolve to fight? This is the lesson. Never give in, never give in, never, never, never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. Now, like each of us, Winston Churchill had his share of shortcomings, but also like you, he had his heroic moments, perhaps more than the average person. Nonetheless, our minds and souls are nourished by his words, his resolve, and his outright stubbornness in what appeared to be insurmountable odds. Now, perhaps an old bulldog can teach us a few tricks. For in times such as these, stubbornness and resolve are not only admirable, they are indispensable. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And we want to hear more from you each week. So just give us ideas on some of the topics you'd like to see covered. We're happy to look into that. Enjoy your weekend and be sure to return next Friday for more Food for Thought.